You look great. Nice to be uh, here. Welcome back. I, I, I want to apologize to you uh, straight up because I cr crypto started to crash. Uh -huh. And you know, it's crashing now or whatever. And yeah. I went up to you earlier and I was like, uh, you must be bummed because I thought you told me about crypto. No. Um, and it, was, it was not. No, but you. we've spent the last five years being like sort of shamed about crypto. We're like, you got it? No. You're a coward? No. Yeah. You're stupid. You're a stupid coward. You didn't get crypto. <laughs> and then uh, it's been sort of crashing the past couple months. And I got to say, it's been pretty satisfying to watch. <laughs> Yeah. Watching crypto crash is like watching the fire festival from a nearby boat. <laughs> uh, people are reacting uh, very uh, positively mm. to your special blocks on Netflix. Yeah. Congratulations. Thank you very do you, much. Uh, do, you, um, <laughs> do you do you pay attention to what people say about you on social media? We well, got to be careful on social media, as we all know. Uh, for men, it's a lot of the social media influencers for men are all, I call them the clappers, because they start all their posts like this, like, what's up, guys? <laughs> By the, if you're under 30, I just have to let you know, no one's ever clapped and said anything great. <laughs> JFK wasn't like, ask not what your country can do for you. <laughs> you're going on tour next year, buddy. Yeah. That's a big deal. Uh, Thank you. Uh, do you have someone watching the house? I have someone, my friend Sarah watched the house, and uh, she was watching it this year when I was on tour. And I had, rac I have like a small pool, and I had raccoons back there. And my first instinct was like, you gotta like kill them. Like, you gotta, oh, yeah, of course. And then uh, she sent me video, and they're so cute. I don't. Please, can you show the video? These brought the raccoons. video of raccoons in Neil's backyard. Take a look at this. Aww. Oh my God! They're just cleaning themselves. I mean, stop. <laughs> you got. I think you gotta let them stay. Gotta keep them. Yeah, right? you gotta keep them. And someone goes, "Are you worried about getting rabies?" I was like, "They're not gonna give me rabies. They might give me wabies." <laughs> Because that's how cute they They're are? They're so cute. They're going to give me way <laughs> And I'm going to have to call 911 and be like, I think I have way hey, They're going to send a wambulance over. <laughs> and I'm going to go to the hospital. And they're going to go, like, do you have insurance? And I'm going to go, I have blue cross and blue shield. <laughs> that's how cute they're those ridiculous. raccoons yeah, are. They're that cute. They make you talk like a baby. Uh, you know, you, you talk about dating in your stand-up. Uh, how, how's dating life going? If you have to ask, it's not going great. Um, <laughs> it's uh, true. Uh, I, well, all right, I date, the women I date have always kind of like, kind of bossed me around a little bit. I, I think they see me as like a fixer-upper. <laughs> like I'm looking for a coach, you know? So they would constantly be telling me, like they'd always say like, I trained him, I taught him. Which is like, you ever hear a guy say that? No, because you don't know any pimps. Um, <laughs> so, and then, like, women would tell me what to do, and then you, uh, you talked about this on the show recently. I had a woman that I was dating. She wouldn't, we didn't even live together. She made me get rid of a piece of art. And then no one believed me. And then you talked about it on the show, and I'm so grateful. Please. I, I have a clip of me talking about this here. I love Buddy Holly, and I also love stained glass. Okay. And I, I don't know why it just came up, and he's like, you love stained glass? He goes, do you like, and he said this, I'm like, do you like Buddy Holly? I go, I do, actually. He's, he goes, I have a stained glass portrait of Buddy Holly. <laughs> that my wife is like, there's no way we're keeping this in the living room. <laughs> so I go, I will borrow it, and whenever you need it back, back I, I will hang in my office, and it's been in my office since late night. Neil Brennan, if you need it back, <laughs> I have it. <laughs> That's you, yeah, I do. It was your girlfriend, not your wife. Yeah, yeah. But uh, either way, I, I have it. It's been in my office, and uh, I, I'm... I feel like if I could... If I could get it back. Uh, my girlfriend that I'm dating now is here. It, like, we could maybe... We could bring it out, and we can... Can we show it? Can we bring out the... Come on over. <laughs> this is... This has been with me for almost 15 years now. This, I can't believe that someone didn't want this in their living room. I know, and I feel like I'm in a good place in my life. Isn't that cool? 
Like, I'm in a good place in my life, and you I can... You can tell by the silence how cool it is. It's really... <laughs> there's a reverent silence for how cool it is. Um, so I feel like how, I'm in a good wait, place... Can I ask you this, though? Because it has been mine. I don't want to lose it. I don't... I, I just, love it so much. All right, well, Where did you get it? I got it on a, in the street in England. That's even cooler. I, I love it even I more. Know. You got this on the street in England, and now it's lived in my office for 15 years. Yeah. And now I'm giving it back to you, because I'm a man of my word. Well, let me just, my girl's here, and I feel like we're in a good place, and I can sort of make my own decisions. Uh, Val, will you stand up? Yeah. Yeah. My girlfriend. (laughs) So, So, babe, what do you think? Can we keep it? No, it's gross. Yes! Exactly! Yes! It's mine again! Thank you! She's a keeper. I love her, by the way. Neil Brennan, everybody! The special Neil Brennan Blocks is streaming now on Netflix. We'll be right back with a performance from Wizkid. Stick around. Hey.